Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to be doing a 411 love reading where we look at pretty much everything that you want to know about love, who or what is coming towards you in love. Um, as always, it's meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation and leave the rest. And let's see what messages we get for you. You can also check out your other placements um, by checking out the description box. I have all the playlists for each sign linked there so you can look at your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. All right, let's see what we have for you. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. Guidance, insight for Leo regarding love. What does Leo need to know regarding love? What does Leo need to know? Okay, let's see what we get for you. In what is currently happening for you in love or the current situation nine of Pentacles reverse eight of Pentacles reverse interesting um I feel like someone cannot give they can't make effort or they can't give time or effort or energy to something or maybe are prevented from doing so okay any past energies or influences on this current situation the high priest is reverse and the ten of wands okay so there's a current burden or baggage here that exists or something that's weighing down this connection and it could be what's unsaid or or something that has come out maybe there's been some sort of truth that has come out recently or some sort of knowledge that you like are aware of or they're aware of um, i feel like this is is causing issues for whatever reason Okay, how do you feel about this person? Seven of Wands, Reverse, and the World. Interesting. Um, the Seven of Wands, Reverse is typically a card about like um, uh, no longer resisting, no longer fighting back. Okay, and what? Are, how do they feel about you? Page of Wands, Reverse, Four of Wands. Well, those are kind of two different things. Hmm. See, I don't feel this person is making any moves towards you or um, isn't like, like I don't see them taking the initiative here or, or if they want to take the initiative, they're not able to. Okay, what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? The sun reverse, okay. And two of wands reverse. Okay. I feel like this is regarding some sort of a decision crooked okay and where is all of this headed in the near future six of swords queen of cups reverse okay so i see kind of like a sad departure or moving on maybe someone's heartbroken that someone's moving on or that they have to make a move we'll have to see what that's all about Why is all of this happening? The overall energy for the reading, Seven of Pentacles. So there's a waiting game here, or at least someone's waiting for something and, and isn't sure of the outcome. Okay. So let's get some clarity here for Leo. For Leo. It's interesting because I'm looking here and there's not a lot of cups. There's only one cups card and it's Queen of Cups reverse. And cups deal with like emotions, feelings, same thing, love, relationships. So it could very well be that this is a situation where it's more about action, moves, you know, effort. We'll see. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles? Not the Seven of Pentacles reverse. It's not reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. I'm thinking about the Queen of Cups reverse. 
Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh, I got two. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely like um an issue here with time and King of Swords. The King, the Knight of Pentacles takes their time. They, they're very slow to arrive at their destination. I feel like this has to do with communication though. Like, I don't think this is just an offer. Can I get one more for the Seven of Pentacles? That one flipped over. Ah, Ten of Wands. This is the main problem. And I feel like the problem is, again, it could be some sort of knowledge with this King of Swords. Tell me about this King of Swords. Because the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune. This is about timing. Oh, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is about communicating something in a, in a certain time frame. I feel like this is what we're really narrowing this down to. Some sort of truth. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Spirit, can I get one more, please? For this King of Swords. Ace of Wands. So this is, um, yeah, this is leading to this world. All of this is connected. Um, this is why everything is happening. The Seven of Pentacles is kind of moving all of this energy or, or, or causing this energy to happen. So I feel like there's some sort of baggage that exists in this connection at this time with the Ten of Wands that is all because something needs to be started. And I think it can only be started, this Ace of Wands in the world, if something is known or communicated. That's kind of what I'm getting so far. And I say that mainly too, because I have the High Priestess reverse with this Ten of Wands. Okay, there's the Nine of Swords behind that. So I think that's, you know, and the Wheel of Fortune is also here with the Seven of Pentacles, which is kind of making me think of like a buildup over time or something happening at the right time. And it's all leading to this Ace of Wands in the world. Okay, so let's see, why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed then? Because if there's someone that's slowly working towards something, then that's not the Eight of Pentacles reversed, and that's not this Page of Wands reverse. The Knight of Pentacles is, they're slow, yes, but they're active, you know, they're not lazy and not doing anything you know they're not it's not like they don't do anything and that's why they're slow why is this eight of pentacles reverse why is the eight of pentacles reverse the high priest i mean the hierophant sorry guys mercury retrograde i apologize in advance for anything that goes down in this reading because I'm having such a hard time communicating. There has been some sort of like, like I can't get the words out or I'm saying things that are like, I don't know, blurbs or like, they're just not right. Okay, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and then the Queen of Cups again. I don't know, this is kind of weird. It's like someone can't give to something because of expectations, because of a commitment. What's this higher font about? Oh my God. Can I please like have some sort of cooperation? <laughs> Tell me. I just can't like this. My deck is just not cooperating today ever since I started this reading. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. I'm going to get through this reading if it kills me. Okay, tell me about the Hierophant, please. Why is the Hierophant here? Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, what? I don't like this, the world again. There's something off here, but I don't know what it is. Okay, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Let's see if this will help. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Okay. 
No. Ten of Pentacles, and then the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like there's an existing commitment here, but I don't know if it's with you and this person, Leo, or if this is outside of you, like if this is a third party. Someone's attached to a long-term commitment or attached to something financially. I feel like there's some, there's two people here with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Cups, I feel, is going to end up disappointed at some point. Can I get one more for the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Maybe this is why things are happening slowly or why timing is such an, a big um, issue here. Can I get one more for the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Judgment. Judgment call. I feel like this is about the truth. Waking up to the truth. Announcing some sort of truth. Making a judgment call based off, off of truth. I don't think it's a coincidence that the King of Swords, Knight of Swords, High Priestess reverse. To me, these are very important. I don't know why yet. I can just sense that they're important. Like this King of Swords is tied to a Wheel of Fortune and an Ace of Wands. Very important. It's like they're 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 like setting this in, mo in motion. Okay. So let's see if I can get some clarity here. Tell me about this Ten of Wands down here. Justice, Libra energy. Tell me about the High Priestess reverse. Why is the High Priestess reverse? Four of Cups. Someone's worried about this. Okay, can I get one more about the High Priestess reverse? Look at all these. Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands shows up again. Page of Wands shows up again. And the Star. Aquarius energy. Queen of Swords is here with the High Priestess. Reverse. There's something here with truth or knowledge. Something being known. For some reason it's a problem. Someone's worried. It's almost like they expect like to be dealing with difficulty. Page of Wands, the star, this is making me think of someone taking steps to begin some sort of healing process or something like that. Renewal, perhaps. And Justice is here. And usually when Justice shows up like this with like a Ten of Wands, which could be some sort of baggage, burden, obligation, um, responsibilities, Usually when justice shows up, it's almost like to take care of this, to remove this burden. They're going to make things right. The tower is at the bottom of the deck. Something's happening here, but I feel like I'm missing a very important piece. It's like justice is here because something is not right. Something is not balanced. And it has to do with this ten of wands, which is affecting your connection with this person. Let's look at your energies for each other. Spirit, can I get some insight into the energies between Leo and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the energies between Leo and this other person? Tell me about Leo's energy. Tell me about Leo's energy. Victory, lap, success, recognition, triumph. You're being recognized and admired for your success. Okay, tell me about this person that Leo is dealing with. What are their energies? You want something. 
Tell me about this person's energies that Leo is dealing with. Moving forward. Well, that's that Six of Swords. Falling leaves at the bottom of the deck. So this is about changes, transitions over time. There's some sort of change here or departure. So we can get another energy. Can you get one more uh, energy, please, for Leo and this other person? What do we need to know about these energies between Leo and this other person? Tell me about Leo's energy. I feel like you have already something in mind, um, a goal with this other person or regarding this connection. And it's tied to this world. But why is the Seven of Wands reversed? Tell me about Leo's person. Lizard. Interesting. Lizard is kind of like, um, they're very, um, in, like they, they have very strong instincts and they're natural like introverts. Um, in the sense of like they are seeking quiet, quiet places where they can recharge, where they can think things through, where they can, you know, pause and reflect. I feel like you have some sort of instinctive, that's probably why the high priestess is reversed. You probably already were aware of something. Tell me about Leo's person. What, what do we need to know about Leo's person? What do we need to know about their energies. The crow. I don't know why I started yawning all of a sudden. It's like the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> Interesting, the black egg. And the black egg was also at the bottom of the deck for you, I think. I wasn't really looking very closely. But the black egg is about a very important truth. Oops. This is like, do I have my book around here? Of course I don't. Oh, it's okay. This is one of like the spirit cards of this deck. And the black egg is speaking from an authentic voice, the truth harbors only that which rings true. So this is basically the truth and nothing but the truth. So I feel like there's something here that's going, okay, so Leo, so that I'm not just going on and on about the same energy because I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself, but it's because I'm trying to clarify the energies and I'm, it's taking me back to the same like source, which is the beginning of this reading where the High Priestess Reverse, King of Swords, this energy. I feel like either there was a secret that came out or there's a secret that someone's been keeping. And the truth is very important when it comes to this connection. The truth is what will make or break this connection. And I don't know exactly what that truth is, all I know is that someone's hoping that this is something that will work to their advantage or that things will work out in their favor, that they will have a new beginning. I feel like that's you. This could It could even be this person as well because they have moving forward. Maybe you both want to move into a new chapter, you know? Um, we'll see. But I feel like this truth uh, thing, whatever it is, if it's a secret that hasn't been revealed, that needs to be revealed, if it's an important conversation, whatever this truth is, I feel like um, it hasn't happened yet. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? Yeah, Two of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? I feel like you've been waiting for something that hasn't happened, even though I think there's still potential for a new beginning. And I really don't know if there's already a marriage here, like you are married or they're married. I feel like if someone already is tied to someone, then that is not happening quickly. So if someone's trying to become unattached, I don't see that happening very quickly. Why is the world here?
Why is the world here? Yeah, temperance. Sagittarius energy. This isn't happening quickly, but it is a new beginning. So it's it's interesting. I don't know for sure. Because I'm not going to just sit here and BS you and be like, oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't see it clearly. I, can, I see the outside of it. And I think it's because it's a very complex situation. But I think this is it's going to come together, hopefully, towards the end here where we can get a little bit more clarity. Tell me about the world. I feel like this new beginning that you want, it's not happening yet or it's slowly happening. Tell me about the world. Oh, I got two. The Magician, Five of Wands, and the High Priestess. Yeah. I feel like this might even be a secret desire of yours or your intuition is guiding you in this direction. But there's drama, there's conflict, there's things that need to be resolved with the Five of Wands. Why is your person not really taking action here? Tell me about the Page of Wands reverse. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? Why is the Page of Wands reverse? The world. So they have the world as well, but they have Page of Wands reverse. So that tells me that they're not able to begin this new cycle or are prevented from doing so. Tell me more about this Page of Wands reverse. Yep, because it's tied to an ending, you see? The world and death together. Scorpio energy with the death card. They haven't ended something, that's why. So you're basically waiting for this to happen. But I think for something to end is probably a truth needs to be addressed or information needs to be shared. So for example, that could be like this person telling their current partner it's over. Tell me about this four of wands. Why is this four of wands here? Yeah, so this person, they, they definitely are interested in you. Um, I feel like they want to take action with the, with the Knight of Wands, but they're not with the Page of Wands reversed. Or they're not able to make a move here. Can I get one more for the Four of Wands? Probably because they don't have the courage. There you are. Strength, Leo energy. This person is probably worried about finances. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So then why is the sun reversed with the two of wands reversed? Because the sun reversed to me, it could be similar to the moon where the sun is hidden, so it's dark. Or it could be, you know, unhappiness. Why is the sun reversed? Why is the sun reverse? The devil, Capricorn energy. And again, not a lot of cups. Only the queen of cups showed up. Four of Cups. That's it. It's like emotions aren't part of the picture. Feelings, emotions, love even, perhaps. It's almost like love is, is being trampled. Like feelings are kind of being overcome or, or suppressed or like this is taking precedence. This is affecting everything. I think this person is attached. Either you or this person are attached with the devil. There's an attachment here with the nine of pentacles reverse. This is someone that's not free, not independent, not secure on themselves. They are attached. And it's bringing a lot of unhappiness and maybe even secrets. Tell me about the two of wands reverse. Why is the two of wands reverse? Yep, Five of Swords. Someone here is not doing... Okay, can I get one more for this Five of Swords before I like... Someone I feel is... Might not be making the best choice here. What, what can you tell me about this Five of Swords? Five of Swords are so concerned with losing that they make a mistake. Eight of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this is regarding some sort of move or action they want to take. I don't, yeah, there's the fool. I don't think this is communication. I think this is someone that, it's almost like they have to play dirty to have this new beginning. I really hope that they don't have to play dirty with you. Because this five of swords would totally be somebody that would tell you one thing and do another so they, they don't lose. You know, like for example, they could promise a new beginning, but they're not doing anything about it. Nothing concrete, for example. Not saying that that's what's happening, but 
you know be very um you will know your situation better than me your personal situation but i feel like this is taking its toll here with the ten of wands showing up twice so and the seven of pentacles is here so it's almost like someone's really wondering if all of this is for nothing if all of this will end up working out if, if all of this has been a mistake you know someone's not quite sure it could be you that's thinking this because in your mind i see you wanting to manifest a whole new cycle for yourself and it's almost like you're you're actively working on making this happen like you're very invested in this new beginning leo it's not just like something you're thinking about but i think like there's a lot of drama here and it's almost like you're, I feel some of you are wondering, you know, what the decision will be. It's almost like you're maybe waiting for this person to get to this point with the world and death. And it's like, when are they going to finally do what they need to do? When are they going to leave their situation? Now, I kind of looked at the crow and put it down here. And I'm sorry that I didn't really talk about this. Because the crow is also another another card that is very magical it's an intuitive energy this is kind of seeing the past present and future um when i saw the crow i thought this person is very careful they're being very careful because they can almost see the future and it's almost like it scares them so they're being very deliberate in the present does that make sense and i thought about it but i didn't say it <laughs> sorry Sometimes I get caught up in everything else that's happening on the board that I kind of forget to explain everything that I see. But that's what kind of the crow energy is about. So I feel like you're both on, you're not on the same page per se, but it's like the same method. I feel like, I don't know, it's almost like you would be successful if you were to try something. And then if this person were to try that same thing, they would fail. I don't know. What is this devil energy? What can you tell me about this devil energy spirit? What can you tell me about the devil? The hermit, Virgo energy. Interesting, someone I feel knows. This is someone that's very aware of their predicament. They know their situation. They've done a lot of thinking and planning perhaps about this Virgo energy. So then what's going on here with the Six of Swords and the Queen of Cups reverse? I feel like this is someone that's making some sort of a move here with the Six of Swords. And I feel like it's going to disappoint someone. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords about? Oh, the Ten of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups reverse about? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. What do we need to know about both of these energies? Six of Swords, Queen of Cups. What do we need to know about the Six of Swords and the Queen of Cups reverse? What do we need to know, Spirit? About it? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. This is definitely a move. Someone's going to move on or leave. And it's gonna, someone, in, if this is a third party situation, which I feel for a lot of you it is, one of you is gonna be very heartbroken at the end of all of this. And unfortunately, I can't say that for sure that's not you. I feel like it could be you, depending on what this person chooses. I feel like they have to make a choice Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot spirit. Why is the chariot here? Yep. This is all connected. Ace of Swords. This is connected to that truth, that clarity, that information. Okay, so I see a few things here. This could be somebody that is coming over to talk. This is somebody that could be following their truth on the road, the path that leads to victory based on truth. And I was going to say clarity, but I heard integrity. Okay. Okay. 
Leo, I'm going to be very honest with you and take it as it resonates. Some of you are going to have a conversation with this person and you're going to decide to finally walk away because it's not what you want to hear and it's not necessarily what you were promised. This person is going to choose to be to stay with their family because it's more convenient. And I feel like a lot of you, that's all you need to know to fully let go. Others of you, I feel like you're waiting to have this important discussion in the near future to decide what you're going to do. And same goes for this person. I feel like you're going to have a very important talk with this person. And it's going to go, you know, it's, it's going to go differently for all of you. For the Leos that I'm reading for. I think this conversation is about whether to continue on the path you are on as a couple or make a different decision, choose a different path. And I feel like the third party is, is, is a big influence here. The third party and how someone deals with this is going to determine whether this is successful, this connection. I feel like you're really manifesting this or at least you are willing to work on your future and want what's best for your future. And it's almost like this person needs to either meet you at your level or you need to cut the dead weight. That's just what I'm kind of picking up here. That's not to say this person doesn't care about you. That's not to say that there's no feelings here, even though there's barely any cups on the board, which is very, for a love reading, it's strange. I, I mean, you can count them. There's like three or four cards here. And look how many cards I have on the board right now. And only three or four of them are cups cards. I don't think love or emotions is the problem here. But, some, but you know, relationships are not just based on love. Like that's, love is not going to carry you through a successful relationship for years and years and years to come. There's always more that comes into play. So that's kind of what I see here. Thank you so much, Leo, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. I hope that it was a good reading for you. And if it was, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.